Let's start record. Hello everyone, we're back with more Yu-Gi-Oh! We don't have we have the exact same deck and we might actually just beat this entire game with this deck. Rex, fight me. God, stop running! Son of a bitch! He's oh, yeah. ducking you. You look like a decent duelist. Okay. Oh wait, so if I lose, um <laughs> I lose my locator card. Oh, I don't think you do. He said, "Let's duel for our locators." I think the fact that this yeah, game... but I don't think that I don't think that this game is actually gonna make you give up your locator card. I don't know. It's making me try to give up my Jinzo number seven. The world. It's true. Okay. That's more important. Oh shit! He has the field advantage now, right? Oh, what an asshole! This isn't good. Oh, oh but, but I look have your wandering doom. My wandering doom might save me. All right, it's the wandering doom time. I like that every time we come back to this game, new cards end up becoming like the showcase. <laughs> I don't yeah, even know what's Wandering in Wandering Doomed is all of a sudden out here kicking ass. I know, taking names. Like, he's been here since day one, and yet he finally gets... Uh, our deck is like an actual anime. It's getting like its own, like, characters, and it's like different showcases every <laughs> single time. Like, Abyss Flower showed up out of nowhere? Like, what the fuck? Where were you? Yeah, I don't even remember having that card. Ah, Mooka Mooka, you son of a bitch. Fucking Mooka Mooka. All right. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm afraid to play him, so... It's time to do the Griggle Gambit. I'm going to put down Sinister Serpent. And hope that whatever comes next does not uh, kill... Is not stronger than the Wandering Doom. But if he is, it's yeah, okay. I think, if, I think if someone is stronger than the Wandering Doom, we might be in trouble. Yes. Okay, he has Hano... Hanawa? Haniwa. Haniwa? Something like that. How much is... Uh, yeah... Our good old Penguin Soldier. I am going to keep going because I don't know if um, Penguin Soldier has advantage or not, but I do know Wandering Doom does. All right. Pretty good so far. Damn it. Fucking. How? Does this actually legitimately? Damn. Fucking... What the fuck? Oh, that's a 900 guy right there. That's a 900 attack scorpion. <laughs> you just pulled a 900 guy, though. I did? Oh, okay, Dharma Cannon. That's good. Dharma Cannon. Pretty Let's good. Go. Let's do this. I like that. I think that this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh game that balances your shitty deck by giving everyone a shitty deck. Yeah, like apparently, instead of just letting everyone have good cards, including you, they decided to make everyone suck. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, is a way to play. Definitely. Also, the enemy occasionally just has field cards that you don't know about. <laughs> yeah, they don't even have to, like, actually play them. You're, their field is just advantaged. Yeah, okay, did he just play, like, a... Huh. Okay. I'm gonna do pot the trick. Oh, shit, he's got a trap card. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm like, going, what the fuck does he have? Right. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't have much of a trap card. Let's see what it is. Maybe he's trying to... This is the first guy ever to play a trap card in the what is now six-episode run of the series. No one has activated a single trap card. Is he just bluffing? Is that what's happening? I think the AI is legitimately trying to bluff. bluff, Or he has something that just can't be activated. It doesn't matter, though. He's already lost. I don't want to see... Okay, so here's the, the character that I actually I think would legit be terrifying. It's Yugi and it's Kaiba. Okay, we won. What did we win? What does he have? Sword Arm of Dragon? Sword Arm of Dragon. Mm, is it still one tribute? Six stars, I think. Alright, we might put him in then. Because that's actually a legitimate, pretty decent card we could use. Yeah, that's not bad. Darn, I lost! My dinosaur deck couldn't get it done! I don't remember his voice at all. <laughs> well, it can't be helped. <laughs> Take this card. We now have four out of six locator cards. This is very easy. This is way easier than like what Yugi and uh, Kaiba had to go. Yugi and Kaiba. Yugi and Joey had to go through. It made you play Reshef of Destruction. Well, that might be next if we finish this game super it, early. It better not be next. Is it very bad? So imagine you starting with like the same deck you start in in this, but everyone else actually has their actual anime decks. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that doesn't yeah. sound. Okay, so we need to fight Mai, and we need to fight. Um... Oh, doesn't Mai get to the finals? Mai gets to the finals, but we fought Joey. 
I think the we yeah, had the, but we didn't take Joey's locator card. No, but I think it's based off of the people we fought in the. We also didn't fight. Uh, Rex fought. Um, what's his fuck? Didn't he? Um. Oh wait, we might take my spot in the finals. Oh, that's sad. I think we have to beat the two duelists in here, and then my will show up. It's like um. This is a very uh. Sim like the first ever like Dark Souls of Yu-Gi-Oh games where that doesn't tell you shit, so you just gotta figure out <laughs> by talking to people. I think. So let me talk to Frankenstein over here. See if he has anything to say. Here's the other thing: is that the way I have to play this, it's very hard to have this and my mic in a good position without like having a controller. There we go. Come on, talk to me, Frankenstein. Okay. Raptor's been mopping up around here. Can't afford to fall behind. Okay. So where's that bottom left road? Does that go to Yugi's shop? No. Uh, yeah, that goes to Yugi's shop, but I've already fought everyone here. I think I have to fight these guys. I'm going down in flames. Oh, no. Any? Wait. Okay, wait. Go to the left. Okay. I'll keep going to the left past that standing gentleman. Oh, what? What the Damn. fuck? Bam! Okay, so is it card shop we go to? Okay, let's see if we can buy some. Whoa, I do not like the look of this place. This looks like there's some weird... Um... Oh, this is where if you type in the passcode on the bottom of your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Huh. All right, then. We'll maybe look into that later. Buy. Oh, I can just buy... Yeah. Oh, I... it's got a blue eyes white dragon. I can just buy the blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> Uh, but if I buy it, uh, I don't think I'll have any. No, I'll still have a lot of dominoes left, right? Yeah, but I, I doubt you can use them. No, but what about them? This actually would be a legit card, right? Mystical Elf? Mystical Elf probably is more expensive than Blue Eyes is. No, they, they're telling you right up front that oh, the Mystical yeah. Elf is more expensive than the, uh, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, so there is Exodia. We got Soggy the Dark Clown. Dark Clown is pretty legit. Yeah, Soggy. Shit. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. X Raider. Uh, okay, see, th this is the shit I was talking about. This is a card that has to be in Joey's deck that's going to show up later, right? We should buy X Raider. Probably, but also, God, look at that cost. 233. Okay, okay, so this is where the cost tells you. What the fuck? It costs. I cannot believe that the you Mystical Elf costs. We can actually afford to put it in the deck. We can play a 95 cost card. It's true. I think this is actually the cost is actually how much money it is for them, isn't it? No, oh, I think that's their um to put in the deck. In the deck, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this guy costs 449. Why? Oh, I see. It's 2,800 defense, one sacrifice. 2,800 defense. Yeah. Let's see what else is here. Um. You see anyone? God, this, this, oh, Dream Clown. I love Dream Clown. Not He's bad. good when he actually doesn't affect. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got Leo Wizard. This menu is, uh, the hardest opponent we've had so far. <laughs> okay, this guy has to have an effect, right? What is it? Oh wait, he has an effect, and he has a thousand attack. Wait, what cost? We could play that guy. We could. The thing is, I want to see what the fuck these guys do before I do anything. Why is there Click a on big them? no? Okay. Let me go up to... Okay. Details. Striking blue skin warrior armed with the canonical sword. It can power up the M warrior too. Okay. The, I don't I don't think we're going to be running a double M warrior on the... Not when one dude has 1,000. Actually, you know what? 1,000 is just a lot for where we are in the game. That's all. That's true. That's dragon, true. look and see if he has baby dragon. Okay, yeah. Because then we can use him as time wizard. I, you know what? That's thinking ahead. Let's see. Where is... There's a boy, Duran. I think I've pronounced his name different every single time. It's wrong every time. I know. I've learned to live with it. I don't, <laughs> I don't see baby dragon on here. Because this, none of this is like... got to have a baby dragon in there. There's got to be baby dragon in here. Let's see. Okay. I think there's more below the magic cards. Okay. Let's quickly... Okay, wait a minute. Axe of fucking despair? I need to see this. Regeki? No way is Regeki on here. Okay, go back and look. I guarantee it is. 
No fucking right. way. It costs 50 for Regeki? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, we're buying Regeki, right? There's like no way in my mind if I gonna. What's up? Right? Yes, 100% yes. Alright, I'm buying Regeki. Thank you, dumbass. <laughs> Regeki was cheaper than the mystical elf. Soul of pure yeah, keep going down. Look at that fucking baby dragon. Okay, we're gonna find baby dragon eventually. Okay. Can you even recognize it in this mess? Okay, there's... Oh, it's a magician of fate. Yeah, but it's not... Without the effect, all she is is like a 300 beat stick. Oh, he's selling Jinzo number seven. Is he? How yeah. dare... How dare he sell my father's favorite card? Should have some more respect. At least we know that we can buy more Jinzo number sevens if the time comes. Oh, my Havelo? I gotta guess that she doesn't have her effect, though. It's still crazy to me what that... What the hell does this guy have blue eyes, white dragon, but not baby dragon? I don't know. I don't understand this guy's selection either. Okay. It... What's up? Why have Gemini Elf? Really? Where? I don't see Gemini Elf. Where's Gemini Elf? Right there. Up, up, at the very top row. Keep going. Oh, the row above Skalangle. Up, up, up right there, oh, directly above God. where you are. Really? <laughs> Elf! God damn it. I gotta stop. Wait. <laughs> oh, Alright, we're going back down. <laughs> I also feel like uh, we should buy the Gemini Elf if they are here. Are you kidding me? This it's so cheap. Why not buy the Gemini Elf? Because oh. we can't play it. I think we can play it. Let's well, let's find That's out. Two eighty eight or something. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Where was it? Um, I think it's lower. Yeah, it's right there. I okay. There, I see. I see her. Yeah, 289. Yeah, you're right. I am too low for this. But also, that's not going to stop me from buying the Gemini Elf. Are you kidding me? I'll just... <laughs> I'll get better. How about that? I'll get good. <laughs> oh, Larva Worm. I love Larva Worm. All right, let's see if we can continue finding our search for the baby dragon. And what what has to be maybe the most uh, confusing Crush episode... Crush Card Virus? No way is Crush Card Virus legit. The scourge of all high power monsters down in the field. Well, that's not useful for us yet because no one's that strong. No, no one is that strong. And I want to save my money for something a little bit more. Uh, actually, Widespread ruin. Where? Down in the traps. Oh my god, and what? That's a trap hole. Okay, yeah, this. I feel widespread ruin is good for late game. These guys are fucked now that we actually have legitimately good <laughs> cards, by the way. I think there's still a shot of them. Oh my god, brain control? Brain control! <laughs> okay, it's too low. But also, I'll get good. How about- I can buy multiples of brain control? <laughs> okay, that's too much. Um, Senju of the what? Okay, that's send you with a whatever hands, right? Thousand hands. We're still on the hunt for Baby Dragon. That's our main. How dude. does he have all these cards but not Baby Dragon? He has Force Raider. He has the Gemini. Elf? I guess yeah, sure. If you have that 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 point, why not? No, he does not have Baby Dragon. He has Monster, Monster Reborn. Reborn. Okay, yeah, we're buying Monster Reborn. There's no, uh, there's there was no end game of us not buying the Monster Reborn. <laughs> it's got fucking Monster Reborn. Okay, yeah. wait, go back up to the top because I wasn't looking right away. Okay, missed Baby Dragon. There's got to be a fucking Baby Dragon, right? There has to be. Otherwise, to be. unless they're trying to say the only way to get um, Baby Dragon is you have to put in the codes or you have to fight a specific person. Maybe. Like, if they have Vorse Raider in the game, I don't understand why they wouldn't have Baby Dragon. 
Like Baby Dragon is only good because of Thousand Dragon. I just didn't have Destiny Bond, like Destiny Bond, but only three of them. I think because you have to beat um, Bakura. Bakura. Yeah, I think that's the reason why. But then he was also selling the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and like yeah, which you think you would get from? Oh, maybe it's because you get Obelisk from Kaiba. <laughs> now that would be insane. I don't like the idea but that you actually do get the God cards. Okay, so is Horn of the Unicorn still the 800 attack? Okay, never mind. Wait, what? <laughs> it is usable only by a dark monster with a horn. Okay, so not <laughs> not using that what anytime an soon. Selection. Okay, Black Pendant has to be like just pure. No, it has to be a dark magician. What the hell? So what is Axe of Despair? This is also a creepy ass version of Axe of Despair, by the way. See, that's the OG art right there. So it's fiend monsters. So I feel that's kind of a nerf to Axe of Despair, honestly. Also, I don't know what maximizes their attack means. Yeah, I, mean, I wonder if that means doubles. Risky click. Maybe it's a double. You know what? I think if we really badly want Baby Dragon, we might have to put in his code and get him. I feel that like way. we might we might get him from Joey. Yeah, that's too. You know what? We're not gonna do a code thing right now still feel like we should buy the fucking blue eyes white dragon okay you know what just to flex on kaiba we are buying the blue eyes just, white dragon yeah just to flex like why would we not get the blue eyes white dragon congrats we now have the blue eyes white dragon <laughs> we're so not piece of exodia oh is it is it really just a piece of exodia which arm just, just one piece of exodia chilling in here look all right we're also buying the right arm of exodia <laughs> and uh okay let's see let me talk to this guy Oh, if I duel you and I beat you, can I go down to the storage area? No, you know what? Never mind. Steal uh, all the cards out of the storage area? Yeah, exactly. Whoa, what is this girl? Hello. Hello, ma'am. Can I talk to you? Uh, yeah, you can put a really good deck there. Oh, wait. Is that guy trying to say that if you can't win with the deck we gave you, then go? Why don't you get good and buy some good cards? Yeah, I feel like much. I feel like that's what he's trying to say to me. All right, I think we're doing pretty good here. We'll save it up, and we'll continue this on another episode. Even though that entire episode was us looking at cards, <laughs> trying to see, <laughs> looking for baby dragon, looking for baby dragon. Uh, thanks again for joining us for Yu-Gi-Oh. We'll see you guys next time. Where I think the next time we record this, we might legitimately just maybe... Well, I think we'll be able to get all the locator cards now that I have a, fairly, a pretty good idea of what to do next. There's not much to I think do. We to, I think we have to go to the park next. We might. I think we get Slifer pretty soon. All right, we'll do that then. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bye.